all the stuff in the room that Arthur and wife Stephanie had. The servant saw it and told Arthur that Stephanie had kidnapped the royal princess Christina. When she was outside playing, Arthur was so excited that his dream has come true. But in David's castle, soldiers were telling David that Christina was missing. David was so upset, but he had a plan. Sharina was so scared, thinking a lot of questions that she will be eaten by the beast or something about the fox kidnapped her. Stephanie went to her own secret room and suddenly she transformed into Christina. Then she went out to the castle. The king saw Christina and asked, Where have you been, darling? We are all looking for you. Christina, Stephanie, lied. I was lost in the forest. I was so scared. So they celebrated a party for her. Arthur told Christina to do everything yeah, for him happened, at his house. King David knows mm. that she was not his princess because Christina does not know how to say forest. So he told the guards to go to Arthur's house to check if Stephanie was there. Of course, the guards went inside and they cannot see her. Sharina to Christina, Stephanie to her husband. David asked, what kind of names are your sisters going to have? Christina answered, oh, Lily, Michaela, Taylor, I don't know, David said. You are not Christina. You are Stephanie. Then Christina changed into Stephanie and answered, so you still cannot find Christina. You will never know where is she, where she is. Maybe I know she's in your house. Nope. I won't tell you. Go, go to get Christina. Then one hour later, guard, the soldier, was holding Christina and Arthur walked beside him. David put oh, Arthur and Stephanie in the jail to oh teach God. them a lesson. What's wrong with then two more years, Gloria was born. Then after two more years, Rebecca was born. Two more years, Fanny was born. Now there are six people in the Liu family. Happily ever after. So they live happily after the castle, and this is the story of the mighty King David and the stolen baby. The end. Dear Daddy, happy Father's Day. Love you, love Rebecca, love you. So, so nice. What a nice story. Thank you. Mm, good. Thank you. Oh, beautiful So this is the story Rebecca wrote for Daddy called The Mighty King and the Stolen Baby. Thank you, Rebecca. You are so sweet. Thank you for the nice present. You suck, Rebecca. I also got this from Rebecca too. This is from Gloria. Expresso. Big espresso mug. It's like her big. Uh, yeah. so this <laughs> is from Betty Young. She bought me a nice mug with cards on it. And Rebecca got me another mug. Christmas mug. But it's kind of cute. Okay, it's Christmas mug. Okay, thank you, girls. Now, Christina, have another gift for Daddy. Christina. Christina, want to show me the yeah. best. There is no hair. The last. Yeah. He's bald. Right. Okay. <laughs> show me what do you give me. Sit down here. Three hours. Okay. Mark, this, look, my YouTube this is from last year. The greatest daddy in the world. Not in, in South Africa. Africa. Okay. All right. What did you give to daddy? I don't think you understand.